A Venn diagram displays the sets as intersecting circles. Below are two examples of Venn diagrams, where each rectangle represents the universal set, meaning the set of elements in which we are concerned about in a particular situation. And then each set is represented by a capital letter. We shade regions of Venn diagrams to represent operations between or among sets. Let's take a look at some examples. First, let's take a look at the intersection of A and B, or just A intersect B, which we can also read as just A and B. A intersect B is the set containing all the elements, which are elements of both A and B. So looking at the Venn diagram, the region that is both in set A and set B is this overlapping region here. This overlapping region represents the set that contains the elements that are in A and in B. This is the set A intersect B. On the right, we have the intersection of sets A, B, and C, or A intersect B intersect C, which we can also read as A and B and C. This is a set containing the elements that are in A and B and C, which is this overlapping region here that is in all three sets. This region here represents the set containing all the elements in set A and set B and set C. This is the intersection of the sets A, B, and C. And now let's put a couple of examples of unions. On the left we have A union B, or the union of A and B, which we can also read as A or B. A union B is the set containing all the elements, which are elements of A or B or both. So A union B would be this set here, the set containing the elements that are in A or in B or in both, which would be this set here. This is A union B or the union of A and B. On the right, we have A union B union C or the union of A, B, and C, which can also be read as A or B or C. The set containing the elements that are in A or in B or in C is this set here. This set contains the elements that are in A or B or C. This is A union B union C. We'll look at more examples in the next several videos. I hope you found this helpful.